What's up everybody, it's JVR here. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to make a gravity gun. As you can see here, I made this myself. Um, if I grab it, you see, oh, as I grab it, um, there's a little bug with it, but it, this still can work. As you can see, if I hold the trigger, you'll see it flies up and down. All of that. Um, yes, so you, you could see it, it's buggy. Um, this is like a velocity av type of thing, but if you get this a little correctly, um, you can use this right here. But, um, let's get straight into it. So, the first thing you'll need is a trigger handle. Oop. A trigger handle. You want to place it like right here. I'm also going to color black. It's going to fall down, but that's fine because just put it back up for me. We're going to freeze it. And then if you want to do the line thing, you can. You can make a little model of it or something like that. Doesn't matter. But I'm not, I'm not going to do that right now. But if you want to do a little line over there. Uh, yeah, over there. So, uh, what we're gonna get is a rangefinder. You will need this for a ray cast. Um, this is actually pretty important to make it so it actually hits the player and not something else. But this also tracks objects too, so don't worry if you're using it for objects. Now, you're gonna bring a, you wanna configure the rangefinder. You're gonna find this, change the distance meet units to meters because that's what it's going to be on the raycast and you want to you want to turn on show laser when gadgets are hitting then what you're also going to do is you want to put any color you want i'm just going to put it like i don't know like white or something like that um but anyways now since you got that off you also want to get a piston mm -hmm. this is what it's going to get to set its distance of whatever but Get a piston right here. Right here. And then we're going to get a clamp. So if you're putting that little line over there that I just showed you, um, you have to connect it to the top. Seat. So you want to put the piston to the top. You want to put the rangefinder to the tip of the pin of the clamp right here. Then you want to unfreeze the trigger handle and then wire it to the bottom of the clamp then freeze it back again because we're still using it. we're still going to use it what you're what i'm going to do is i'm going to organize this so so after you get this oh you accidentally use it all right that's no you're fine um so what we're going to do is First thing we're going to get is a get forward vector. This is going to get the forward vector of this trigger handle right here. And we're going to also get a get position. You're also going to get a raycast, like what I just said earlier for that rangefinder. Because that is really important. One thing about this, also forgot. The rangefinder, um, you want to get the red pin to 1. Then you want to put the meters to like 999 nine, nine or something like that. Like a big number. Don't make it too big. Um, okay, mine's a little glitched out. I have to mo move mines. Okay, that's not bad, but you're still going to accept it. Um, we're going to put this here. Where, yeah, like we're going to get a recast. We're going to get... So... We're going to get a if chip right there, a get position, another get position, actually. We're going to use it for this piston right here. And then what we're also going to get is we're going to wire the get position on the top here to the trigger handle and the get forward vector to the trigger handle. This get forward vector is going to go to the direction of the raycast because this is going to be the direction. It's a forward vector, as you can see, and the position is going to be the position right here. Put this max distance to like the exact same of the rangefinder that you put. I put 999 right there, as you can see. And we're going to put this hit to the condition of this if chip and 
the, the input to pressed. Oh, to pressed. And then you want to get two velocity sets. We're going to use this later on for this to be a little build. After that, you want to get a player variable. I think so. That's what it's called. Yeah, player variable. Yeah, it's called a player variable. You want to get two of these. So I'm going to put this one like down here. You want to get two. Uh, I'm just gonna put the put them. I'm just gonna put them player two, cause I already used the variable over there, as you can see. Player two. Oh, didn't have some minute. So now, since it's player two, I'm gonna name this nobody. Right here, this is gonna be checking if this um no one is there, basically. <laughs> Okay, I might watch notifications. After that, uh, what you're gonna do is you wanna get an equals chip. Equals, you wanna put this on the nobody. Well, change this local player to none, which is gonna be invalid. Then you wanna put this, uh, the output mm -hmm. to the bottom. Then we're gonna use this first. So, we're gonna get another get position. And you want to get, uh, you want to get a rec room object mm -hmm. variable. Oh, Augie, can't join right now. Uh, rec room object, and I think so. It's gonna be somewhere around here. Yep, rec room object. Uh, I'm just gonna put this right here, and just gonna keep it right there. And then we're gonna be checking if. Uh, so this player right here, this player is going to be determining if this is true or not, which is going to be, which is invalid right now because the rake has didn't hit yet. So what we're also going to get is a piston set distance. Switch on over there. Piston set distance right here. Put the then on the if chip for the hit. To the piston set distance, then the target is going to be the piston. And then the value is going to be the distance. What this is going to determine is any object around you using the um, object collision data, it's going to basically pull it on our wall. It's going to use the collision. If it's decorational, I do not know if it's going to do the same thing, but I, I doubt it. And then you want to uh, <clears throat> wire this piston set distance to the player right here and you want to also put this to the get position we're going to use this get position mm -hmm. later with something put this output to the rec room object variable and then this little rec room object goes to the object of the raycast right there we're also going to get a get position for that too so and what you're going to get yeah, get position, wire it to the target. You want to get two subtract chips. Uh, subtract. And put a subtract right there and put a subtract right there. Put this um, player variable to the bottom of the value right here. And this top value, we're going to get the this get position right here and there, the piston. We're going to put it to the piston. The little top thing, the quaternion, whatever that's called. Uh, and you want to put this position to the top then what you're gonna do is you want to wire it to this this one this first velocity sub right here this difference is going to go to the direction the target for the top um velocity set is going to be the player right here this little pin the output i think and Oh yeah, I think yeah, it's there. So after that, you want to get uh, the rectum variable. The right, you want to do the exact same thing. So put this at the bottom value on the subtract chip. This top one is going to be the piston. What this is going to compare? It's going to subtract the both values. This one says error because we haven't tested it yet. It's only going to change if we use it on a player or an object. And then you want to put this one to the bottom velocity set. Basically, and this target is going to be the, okay, 
to the this pin right here of the rep room object variable and then after that um i think so you're gonna put this equal shift the top a it's gonna be the player and i'm lagging a little bit so um we're not done yet we need two more things i think need uh two if chips And we're going to be checking if this is held. Basically, if this is held, basically. And we're going to be seeing, uh, you want to get this two F chips. First one is going to be if the primary action is held. And then you want to put the then to this F chip to the second F chip on the input. Um, this one is going to be ran by an event receiver. So we're going to get an event receiver. Event receiver. And we're going to configure it to be update 30 hertz. And then after that, what you're going to do is... We're going to put this then on the second if chip to the bottom velocity set. Then the else is going to be the top one, basically. It's going to be low swapped. Then after that, um... Makes it we should be done here. I am feeling it. Should be done right here. So, uh, we can test it right now, I think. I think so. This is gonna work. I don't know. Might not sure, but I think so. You're supposed to have three of these right here. Three. But, uh, we're gonna test it right now. I'm gonna see, yeah, you see over here, it's run by an event receiver. Everything is going, it's all the way over there for some reason. Yeah, it's, um, doing great, basically. Object 1 is top value to the bottom one. That else goes to the top and then. Yeah, it's gonna just be like that. So, I'm gonna test it for right now. And let's see. Oh shit! Also, I forgot. If you wanna make your trigger handle to stay still, use an animation gizmo. If you don't, just don't. But uh, you wanna unfreeze the trigger handle. Then you wanna connect it to the top of the animation gizmo, and then freeze it again. Get click and figure. The red part is gonna be one. Then you can unfreeze. The trigger handle. That should be gone. As if we should, we should see this. Lots of little bugs. Oh, it's okay. Oh, I forgot. Um, I forgot to put this event receiver in. I sh sorry. I'm gonna put the event receiver in and then we're gonna test it. Oh, it's working. As you can see, all right. Uh, I'm gonna use you as a testing. Mm -hmm. This can also work for players too. If you didn't know, that's why we use the variables over there to set it. And then see if I use you, he's gonna be flying. And if I could, I could just do this. You could do this to your friends. It's a little buggy than the other inventions, but you can customize it. You can decorate it, and that is how to make it. Hope you guys enjoy. Please like and subscribe. Yep, I also hit 300 subscribers, so please celebrate me, and hope I see you guys like tomorrow or something, and goodbye.